and then run it. You see that I cannot control the debugger. So the, the mouse here is just working because this is inside of VMware. But if you use the, the keyboard and it tries to click, to click buttons in the debugger, so nothing happens. So it will baffle you what happened. So if you do, do not identify the block input uh, API had been called, so you will, you will be baffled on what just happened. So luckily, the solution is, is very simple. You just, you just, uh, you just press uh, Control Alt Delete, and then you will regain. Uh, oops. Then you will regain control of the of the debugger. So also, you can just you can just patch black input, so just it will just uh, perform a return. So this uh, particular uh, debugger tag tries to. Uh, Hide, uh, hide, hide the uh, debugging events from the from reaching the the debugger. Basically, this uh, the e thread uh, kernel structure has a has a field called hide thread from debugger. If that particular field uh, is set, what will happen is that the the debugging events will not will not be uh, sent to the to the debugger. So if you try to So in this example, it will call uh, NT set information to 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 uh, to set the the set hide from the debugger flag, and then you, let's try setting a breakpoint here. So if you try to execute it, so it had been executed, but will what will happen is that the what you will see in the debug the debugger no debugging events will be sent to the debugger, and this is the result in all EDBG. So you see that what just said happened. So the solution is just to set a breakpoint on NT set information thread and prevent the call from reaching the kernel. You can set the, the EAP when you are in the NT set information thread. So, so disabling breakpoints. Some packers also try to disable breakpoints. So some packers, uh, they use, they, they try to disable uh, hardware breakpoints by uh, setting the context registers. So they do it by the context registers. So sub software breakpoints can be disabled by identifying all the all the interrupt trees, and they and they they can try to to put a random byte in it so that the instruction is corrupted. So this is the example. So it it tries to uh, throw an exception and then try to set the debug registers to zero. So that all your uh, debug, uh, so that all your, all your uh, hardware breakpoints are cleared. So, so this particular sample uses the unhandled exception filter mechanism. So, if an exception reaches the unhandled, uh, so the if the exception reaches the unhandled exception filter, meaning you, you didn't you didn't set a, an exception handler in it. The unhandled uh, exception filter will not call the set uh, will not call the the top level uh, except, uh, exception filter. So, so what will happen is that if your process is being debugged, the the top level exception uh, handler filter you set using the set unhandled exception filter API will not be called. So, if you are being debugged, uh, the uh, the top level exception filter will not be called. But if you are, but but the but if you are uh, but if you are being debugged, what will happen is that it will just it will just throw the exception to the to the process as, as a second chance except uh, as a second chance uh, exception. So instead of setting uh, the unhandled uh, exception filter manually, they will try pack some packers tries to set the the top level uh, exception uh, filter manually by setting this variable. So what, this is an example. So if the process is being debugged, what will happen is that the that the what will happen is the exception will be will be just thrown to the process as a second chance exception and, and will stop here. But if the process is not being debugged, the exception hand, uh, the exception filter will be called and then. Uh, 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 the execution will continue. 
So this one is a classic attack against all EDVG. It just uh, tries to tries to uh, to uh, exploit a bug in in uh, all EDVG by 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 uh, entering uh, by by passing an improper string parameter to output debug string. So the solution is you can just patch output uh, debug string to perform a return. So this is advanced in other techniques. So some packers have the uh, have a feature called the uh, process injection. So it's a way for, it's a one method to bypass a firewall. So it involves selecting a host process and then tries to inject, inject code in the host process. So in this example, so Notepad tries to inject code into iExplore. So another technique uh, is called the uh, Debugger blocker, this is introduced by Armadillo. So it prevents a debugger from attaching to a protected process. So in, it involves a, it involves sp spawning a child process which will contain the unpack executable. But when you try to attach a debugger to the spawned process, uh, the debugger will just say that uh, you cannot attach the debugger. So as an example, So let's try attaching. Here, this is the this is the child process that we are trying to attach attach to. So it will say that you cannot uh, you cannot uh, attach to the to the said process. So one way to solve this, uh, which is discussed in reverse reversing forms, is try to first try to attach to the in the to the process to the debugger process. So which is this one? So you can attach to it. And then set a breakpoint on a uh, wait for debug event, and then press uh, run it. And then eventually you will uh, the debugger process will ter will stop on that breakpoint, and then you just trace uh, until uh, tell uh, user code, and then you are now in the in the debugger's process main loop. So you, what you can do next is to run another uh, instance of Oli, and then and then try to look at the the PID. So we'll be try to, we will try to attach to, to this process. So we will try to attach in this process. So what we can do is to uh, in the debug process you can push the you you, you will we will try to call a, a debug active process stop in which the PID is the PID of the child process. And then you call. So once 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 that API is secured, you can now try to uh, attach to it. Here, so you are not, you are now able to attach a debugger in the child process. So another technique used by Packer is called the TLS callbacks. It is a it, it's it is a way for a code to execute before the actual entry point. So TLS callback can be easily identified by P uh, parsing tools. So address of TLS callbacks contains the TLS callbacks that will be executed before the actual entry point. So you will not you will just need to take note of the TLS callbacks, and then you can set only DBG to to so I stop at a system breakpoint so that the actual entry point will not be so that it will stop on the on that particular uh, NTDL function and at that point the TLS callbacks are still not called so you can set a breakpoint on the TLS callbacks and then try to try to trace them 
So this is another technique called the stolen bytes. So basically, uh, it involves uh, 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 overriding parts of the code so that parts of the code and then executing it in a specific uh, in a specific address instead of uh, so what do they will do is and allocate a memory and then store the original instructions there and then uh, and then uh, overwrite the instructions in the unpacked code with garbage code. So this prevents a uh, complete reconstruction by a uh, process dumping. So another technique is API redirection. So uh, it, it makes uh, import table re uh, rebuilding difficult. So in this example, uh, a call to a, a jump to a copy file will be will be modified to to a call to an allocated memory. So on that allocated memory, there there will be a copy of the copy file A code. So this part had been copied by the packer, and then also the code the the code pointed to by these call instructions will be executed here, and then and and then but at the end it will it will tra it will transfer execution to this to this uh, part of the code here. So another technique uh, is is via multi-threading. One example is PAcrypt. Uh, it decrypts uh, the, the the encrypted uh, the encrypted code in a separate thread, so it makes uh, it is difficult to to uh, trace them. So finally, the 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 new the the, the latest technique used by 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 commercial uh, packers is via virtual machines because. Uh, Eventually, uh, protected codes need to be decrypted, and that anti -reverse, uh, reversing tricks will be bypassed. So modern uh, packers try to solve this by transforming the protected code into P codes, and then try to execute them in a, in a virtual machine, so that so that you will have you will not have the original uh, uh, x86 uh, instructions in the file. So if you are tracing, uh, what will happen is that if you load the if you load a, 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 a sample protected by, a, by virtual a, a packers, a packers supporting virtual machines, if you dump the file from memory, what you what you will see is the what you will see is the just the, the disassembly of the virtual machine and not the original instructions. So you will need some some tools to to properly. Uh, Parse the the P codes so that it will return uh, usable information. So this makes reversing more time time consuming because you will need to to parse the P code instruction and how how it is translated. So an example is is an example of of depicting a virtual machines by by creating a a disassembler can be found at that link. So you can think of uh, virtual machines as a vis uh, visual basic. Uh, P code compiled samples. So if you load in, in all EDBG, so you will not see uh, x86 uh, disassembly. So, to, so the tools I had discussed is uh, all EDBG uh, and then all the script, which you can use. If the packer is difficult, you can try to, try to use it for automatically setting breakpoints and then patching. So all the advanced has a uh, you can armor all EDBG against uh, debugger detection techniques and, uh, and much more. 